Hello again there, YouTube fans. This is the real creepy doll man here. I'm back with an all new episode, but it's not a normal episode or a double episode or a triple episode. This is a quadruple episode. So what that means the real creepy doll man will work four times as hard for all YouTube fans and all you die hard real creepy doll man fans from around the world. It's March the 22nd of 2021. Time is now 328 a.m. Okay, this is the final conclusion of the real creepy doll man from Louisville, Kentucky tells another true story about the two real Annabelles and where they come from. Now, let's go back to the final conclusion that this doll was found here in Louisville, Kentucky. Is what I said earlier. But let's go back that we had communicate with the spirit off record on communicating with our spirit friends. And I made a lot of errors when we did the first two. So she appeared either on part one or part two is when she appeared. And I can tell you, we had communicate with a spirit. And she gave us, and I quote, that she was a demonic spirit, but didn't give us any age or, you know, her complete name. She just gave us one name. And that was Annabelle. So we decided to go back. It was either her one anniversary or her se uh, her first anniversary or her second anniversary. And I don't know when it appeared. Was it communicating with our spirit friends part five or part six or part seven? But we did want to go back to communicate with the spirit again to find out her true age. And in doing so, we found out in this that it's kind of weird when we talked to the spirit. She gave us finally an age. That she claims to be the spirit, a, fe a female demonic spirit named Annabelle. And she claims to be over her age, over 666 years old. Now this sent a red flag to me a long time ago. I said, wow, that's 666 years old. It's, it's kind of weird. And then something happened recently. This a couple weeks back, about, oh, say about a month or two back. I realized two months back that I may be sitting with something in here that may not be what it said it is. And given the year of the age was actually, or should I say given an age instead of a year, it gave the number 666. That is the true number of what we say the beast, which is actually, you know, the devil's true number. So I was wondering... Who the hell are we talking to? That's when I call my cousin. The one that plays the real creepy ghost hunter junior. You know, he has retired. He agreed when we talked in person when he came over a couple weeks back. Probably just about three or four weeks back he came over. Uh, we talked about something. And it, it, was, it was getting to me. I said... Who the hell have we been talking to? I said, it doesn't sound right that we're talking to a female spirit. Or could be this could be a male spirit we're talking to. Or should I tell him this, that could it be the devil himself we're talking to? So it got to raise a red flag. And I decided now to do this, is to do the communicating with our spirit friends one more time on this doll here without screwing up. And do it on, you know, communicating with our spirit friends, part 14, a part 2. Now, if the real creepy ghost hunter junior, you know, decides to come back in this episode or not, I'm hoping he will join me for one last time. As we tell what spirit is connected to this Annabelle doll. Meaning, what spirit truly is connected to this small Raggedy Ann doll that is called Annabelle. And another thing I found on this doll that didn't make no sense. See the markings on the doll? There is a line drawn on the doll on the forehead of it on the side. And I found something else weird on the doll that if I could show it on cam. I found somebody drew this little bitty, looks like an, it looks like an eye. Now, I don't know what this stands for, but this indeed looks like an eye. Uh, actual eye somebody drew on now i don't know who the original owner was of this doll before i got it but you know tony said he got a lot of these dolls from not just going out when they did the 
auctions and they go through the estimate sales. He got it from some random lady he gets them from, these Raggedy Ann dolls. I don't know how many she's got personally in her collection, but could this be one of the dolls that he got from that collection of hers? Uh, so that remains a mystery. And uh, we hadn't communicated with the spirit in so long. Well, we can communicate with it again. If I can convince, like I said, for the real creepy ghost hunter junior to return, I make a promise to all the fans to tell the truth about if there is a spirit attached to this doll, that we will tell that tale. And I say we will tell the true story and give a name. In fact, if this turns out not be a demonic female spirit, could this actually be the devil himself attached to this vessel? You decide. But the real creepy doll man says this. Whatever happens, happens. As you see, there's something going on with my cam. I have it in reverse, and I can see there's something going on with it right now. That I'm seeing it getting bright and very dim looking. So maybe this doll's affecting the cam. So what I'm going to do is take it out of the shot and then continue to tell on here. Now I decided to take... The Annabelle doll, the shot, because there's something weird going on with the shot. It was fading in and out. And I can tell you this cam is done in reverse. So what you're seeing me as in reverse instead of facing the other way towards the cam light. So that's why you don't see a glare, a little glare in my eyeball. So you're actually seeing all this in reverse. My teeth are also in reverse as well. Uh, let's go back to the topic. I made a promise to all the fans that we'll go back to tell this tale, to tell the true story if this doll is really what she says to be. Or are we talking to the devil? We have to find out what we are talking to. Because even the devil himself could be whatever he wants to be. I'm going to say this to the fans before I close my finale here. That the devil can be whatever it wants to be. He could be a he, she, or an animal. It could be he could be whatever male he wants to be, from young to old, as well as a female younger to old. It could be whatever animal he wants to be, because we already know when he came in the Garden of Eden, he was actually a serpent. And in, in there, they, it continues to tell what he evolved to afterwards, which actually was the red dragon, also into an angel light, which is actually a Lucifer. Is his true, you know, nature. But let's go back to the ordeal that the devil is real, and the devil does exist. So you know, if he exists, then God exists as well. And if God exists, then the angels and fallen angels, which is the demons, do exist, and even evil spirits or demonic spirits do exist in this world today. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a fantasy. This is actually 100% real. People claim to see them as ghosts, and I can tell you what they truly are. They're all, all 100% in human spirits, pretending to be something they cannot be. So they will, you know, be whatever they want to be. They can be you or me if they want to, if they want to possess us, or worse. Or they can take appearance in a dream or appear to us as a shadow. A shadow will give them away that that means they are a demonic spirit or in try to appear to look like a ghost or uh, apparition. They have ways to do several things that you cannot if they are fallen angels or, you know, demonic spirits. They can do whatever they want. They can disguise themselves. They can end up appearing as a fairy tale character if they wanted to. Or they can be genies, leprechauns, vampires, you name it. Demonic spirits can, you know, give you your fantasy for the money's worth. And in real life, they will trick you, deceive you, and that's what I'm going to say in my final episode. To send this out to all the religious people, from the Christians, Catholics, Jews, Muslims, and also my Buddha, Buddhists, and also the Hindu people out there. To play it safe and do not get involved in collecting any of this stuff because you don't know what you're bringing your home. Once you bring over your threshold, your home, you invited something to the house where 
you invite it or not, it's already come in your home. Once it's off your threshold of your home, your house is unclean, your house is unblessed. Doesn't matter how many times you clean it, the house is unblessed when something is evil is truly in the house. So I send this message for all my viewers here, from the YouTube people, as well as my real creepy doll man people. Uh, don't get this stuff because you don't know what you're bringing in the house. I said in one of my videos to try to send that message as a positive and not use it as a negative for my own game to try to make a fast fortune off this ordeal. Because I want to do this to try to protect people out there that are getting attacked by these things every day as they see. So I send that advice for all my fans out there and all the people I do care for and my own family members who are dumb enough to play with this stuff, including the Ouija boards, tarot cards, and you name it. But whatever you play with, that brings evil in the house as well, as well as you bring haunted, possessed, or cursed dolls in your house, as well as cursed, haunted, or possessed artifacts. So I say do not touch them, do not take them, and do not bring them to your home. And that's my message to all. If I said it too fast, I am sorry, because this video is short, and I have to keep it under 12 minutes. And I say this to all the fans out there. Keep watching more for the come for the real creepy doll, man. There will be the real creepy doll man from Louisville, Kentucky. Tells another true story. We're going to make it a double for this month before it ends for this March. What will it be? Watch and find out. This is the real creepy doll man saying to all the fans out there. Goodbye. And God bless you all.